This was revealed in an exclusive NBC report overnight. Bots trying to sway the conversation over what happened to Jamal Khashoggi. Now, NBC News put forward to Twitter on Thursday examples of hundreds of bot accounts. And a Twitter employee told NBC News that it had already suspended many of those bot accounts that it had found. Well, Mark Owen Jones, who's a research analyst, as he points out, and has noted in that NBC article, that this is just a drop in the ocean with regards to Saudi bot networks and that Twitter are constantly trying to take down spam bots. And we've heard that before from Twitter this week as well. And in July, remember that blog post where they said they'd purged millions of accounts that had been spreading misinformation. So this is an ongoing battle for tech companies to try and stamp that out. Well, let's just show you some examples of some of those pro-Saudi bot accounts that have been doing the rounds. This picture uh, we took from the NBC News article. Now, this uh, hashtag that was uh, on those, being shared on those bots, bot accounts, roughly translates as a message of love to Mohammed Bill Salman. Now, the other uh, hashtag that was doing the rounds was we all trust Mohammed Bill Salman. Now, these trying to stamp out and restore trust in the Saudi crown prince, who's come under international scrutiny over the disappearance of Jamal Khashoggi. Now, let's just have a look at another, another example here of a hashtag doing the rounds. This one, unfollow enemies of the nation. And as Ben Nemo says, this one has been mentioned 103,000 times. Now, let me just pull you up something else. Now, he also points out in his research that he says uh, this the, the number of these tweets he said actually retweet uh, relate to retweet bot accounts he said some of them have been inactive since 2012 and now they're seeing increased activity on these accounts and he says here as well it's either a coordinated retweet farm or it's bots as he says which we know and he goes on to share lots of different examples of this but as many people are saying no amount of bots can hide what's potentially happened to Jamal Khashoggi.